Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laravel 8 Framework tutorial. This is our part number 67. Inside this video, we are going to continue current application and inside this, we will see all about list data from our database table. If I back to browser, so here as you can see that we are currently on the device route. It means that if I back to terminal, close this development server and if I type php artition route list now inside this route list let's say we are going to zoom out so inside this we are currently by the help of this get request type device route so it is calling device dot index it means index method of device controller and inside this index method we have the layout of index.blade.php which is inside this CRUD folder. So back to resources, views, CRUD and here we have index.blade.php. So right now we have the static content. If I back to browser, back to our database. So right now inside this table we have three different rows. So what we want, we want to display all these three rows inside this table instead of showing a static data. In the last video, we have done the functionality of add device. Back to terminal, start our development server and if I go and reload this page, let's say that I will entry one more row, click on submit, device added successfully, go and reload this page now as we can see that we have one more row. So what we want, we want to list all the rows from this table from here inside this table. So back to editor, go inside device controller and here inside this index method we need to make query to our database table, fetch all the data and send to this view file. So first of all we need to load our model so already we have loaded called device so what i will do let's all devices equal to device this is our model and we are going to use all method so if i type print r to display all the data so let's say all devices let's add our html tag for the pre-formatting save these changes go and reload this page and as we can see that we are getting a eloquent collection object inside this object we have the single object at the zero index of device type if i scroll down here we have the first index again we have the same device object so successfully we are getting all the rows back to editor comment these two lines I will comment that and here inside this calling this view function let's say devices equals to all devices back to our view file for each we are going to use the for each directive to iterate over all the devices what we are sending from this method. So here, copy this key devices, putting here inside this collection and now by the help of this item, let's say that index and item. So by the help of this item, this item refers to the single object of device model what I mean if I back to browser and here as you can see that we are getting the zero index which refers to a device object so at the zero index at the one index at the second index and so on it refers to the single device object back to editor and by the help of this item we are going to iterate over each device object so let's cut this tr section go inside this for each and inside this the first we want the id so here if we go here go inside this attributes 
or original here we have the id name and the status these are the columns what we are getting from our database table so if we want to iterate over id or let's say fetch our id value curly pairs this is our blade syntax and let's say item object so here we have the id value now here we have the name So inside this, we are going to use, let's say, UC words. It's a PHP function. And inside this, simply we need to call our name column. Again here, this is for the active status or inactive status. So for now, if I print the value, let's say item, and the column we have called the status, and now we have the two action buttons called edit and delete. So what I will do simply inside this we are going to add some attribute values or we will convert this button HTML tag to anchor tag. So if I get rid of that let's anchor and inside this we will put our action URL and here let's add some bootstrap classes that is btn btn warning and let's say edit again I will add for the delete route let's say class btn btn danger and let's say delete here inside this edit section if I back to terminal again type php route list so here inside this as we can see that we have device.so method, device update, device destroy, and device.edit. So for the edit button, what we want, we want that when we click on the edit button, it will open a route by the help of that specific ID and display the pre-filled data. So for that functionality, we will use this route by the help of get request, and this is our route. Device here we have the placeholder for our specific ID and edit route. This is the name value of this route. And keep in mind, here is the method called edit method of device controller. So what I will do, simply go here inside this editor, back to editor. And here inside this, what I will do simply, we are going to use our route helper function. And inside this first value, we will use the named route so what we have for this edit called device.edit so simply I will copy pasting it here and in the second value we need to pass the dynamic placeholder value so as we can see here we have a placeholder value which is nothing it's an ID by the help of this ID actually it will render the predefined values or that specific record so back to editor so here inside this we have our item and by the help of this item we will fetch the id value now for now if i get rid of this delete button save all these changes go inside this list and if i reload this page so here we have some error called undefined variable so if i back to error editor to check this error so here we have correct placed for ID, name, status and for this and actually we have add two dollars here so remove one save all these changes go and reload this page and as we can see that error has been fixed and all the devices what we have created listed inside this list and one more thing we will do inside this video is that First of all, let's inspect this edit button because we have created our edit route. And inside this, as you can see that this is our localhost URL. This is our route called device. Here we have the dynamic placeholder and this is our edit route. Again, if we inspect that, again we have the dynamic placeholder value. So for the edit functionality and delete functionality, we will see in the next videos. But one more thing inside this video, as you can see that for this status column, we are displaying 1 or 0 value. 
So instead of displaying 1 and 0, what we want, we want to show, let's say, a active button and a inactive button. If I back to editor, so here, let's cut that using if directive. So if item status equals to 1, let's say end if and also we will use or else block. So here simply we have used the bleed syntax for if else condition. So if device status equals to 1, we will use our button, let's say active. And here we have the class called btn, btn success. If I copy, go here inside this else block. So in case of 0, we want to show inactive button. And instead of btn, btn success, let's say btn, btn danger. Now if we save all these changes, go and reload this page. Now as we can see that we have the perfect layout of listing our devices. So in the next video, we will work for this action column called for the edit functionality and for the delete functionality. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.